In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 to build code for your BeagleBone Black. So first, go to the Visual Studio 2017 page to download it, and let's scroll the way down. So the version that I downloaded was Community 2017 RC. So go ahead and download it, and after you begin to install it and choose which path you want to install Visual Studio on, you should come across a screen like this. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and choose Linux development with C++. After that, Visual Studio should begin to install. After it installs, you should be on this screen now. So now go to File, New, Project, under Templates, Visual C++, and Cross Platform, you should see a tab called Linux. So go ahead and click on it and choose a project. So let's start off with an empty project and let's name it. Click OK. Once your project is created, go up here and choose ARM. Now let's create a source file. So right click on your project, go to add new item, choose CPP, and let's call this main.cpp, click add, and let's write a basic hello world program. So now let's try building it. So you can hit F5 or go to debug and hit start debugging or you can click here on remote GDB debugger. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5, click yes. So now after you finish building it, you should see one succeeded. And uh, you might get this error and I'll show you how to get rid of it. But for now, hit okay. Now once you begin to build it, you might have also come across a screen that looked like the following, like this. Now the information you enter here is basically the same information that you enter into PuTTY when you try to SSH into it. So the host name is the IP address for your BeagleBone Black. The port uh, for me is 22, so I'll just leave that as 22. You can also go ahead and enter your username. And for authentication type, you can choose either password or private key. If you choose password, you go ahead and type in the password. If you choose private key, you browse for your private key. And once you enter that information under tools and options, and under connection manager you should see a new device added and you can also add multiple or remove them also let's go to the product properties so right click on it and go to properties and under general you should see a tab called remote build root directory now this is a directory in your BeagleBone Black where the Visual Studio's files get sent to so the default should be your home directory in a file called in a folder called projects and you can go ahead and change this but I'm gonna leave it like that for now and also under debugging you should see another tab called debugging mode and beside it you should see GDB server and if you click on the arrow you should see another option called uh, just GDB so if you choose that and hit OK and if you try to build again you shouldn't see the error that uh, you saw when you first build So there you can see that our program ran and we didn't get the error saying that our GDB server was not found. Now if we SSH into our BeagleBone Black and we go to the file specified here under our remote build root directory, we should see the files that were just built. So CD into home then project, should be projects. Now let's print out the contents of this folder. And you can see that here we have the folder that we created, the project that we created, BBB project one. So if I CD into that, here I should see the main, the source file that I created, main.cpp. So let me print out the contents of that file. And here you can see that we have our hello world program. You can also run it from your BeagleBone Black if you CD into bin and uh, arm debug. Let me clear the screen. And you should see this dot out file. So if you run it, you can see that your program ran and hello world was printed. And that's how you set up Visual Studio to build for your BeagleBone Black. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.